All right, let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at using our AM data software here and evaluating our data logs for diagnostic purposes. So if you've ever had a problem um, when you're not getting a starting condition with your AEM or if you're getting breaking up and the car's not running normal and you've changed your spark plugs or if you went over the car and it simply won't start, there's going to be some very key things that we have to look at and understand and we're going to be taking a look at those in this video. So I'm going to be showing you logs from properly running cars that either start right or run right and I'm going to be looking at situations where we have a problem with the cam or crank sensor and then we can see what that's going to look like so when we have a problem you know what to look for and you can very easily pick it up. So the first thing we're going to be checking out here is going to be I have a, in my general tuning uh, window here I have a data log loaded from an engine that's starting normal. So this is going to be uh, just a, a simple cranking log we're going to be seeing uh, looking here, uh, real quickly here, we see that we have our engine speed here. Uh, we see we have our manifold pressure here. And we have our throttle, wideband, ignition timing. Now, looking at this, as we're uh, uh, just checking out what's going on here, we can see that if we come back a little bit further in the data log here, where the engine speed is at zero, our ignition timing here defaults to negative 17 degrees. When the car is powered up but it's not running, that's going to be normal. And we're going to be seeing here, if we trace right through, if we look right about here, if we actually go in, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this area and hit S. And it's going to focus me in right here so we can see this a little bit easier. Looking right here, we can see that the engine speed just starts to crank. This is where we would turn the key and it would just initiate the engine to start to crank. We're going to be finding that the ignition timing here is at 10 degrees. Now it's at 10 degrees because it's what our cranking ignition timing is at in our calibration file. If we we go into start here and we look, our crank advance in this particular calibration file is at zero degrees. It doesn't match the data log, but that's where the value comes from. So whatever you have for your value here in your crank advance, it's going to be reported here for your ignition timing. And we can see as we're cranking along here, it fires up. It goes from the two or 300 RPM. That's going to be in the crank mode. As soon as it fires up here to five, 600 RPM, it's going to be in the run mode. And we can see if we look here at this pink line, this is the ignition timing, we can see that the ignition timing starts here at that value for our crank ignition timing, again coming from here at crank advance. And then it's going to go and flare up into whatever the table value is. We can see it immediately goes to 19. That's because it's going into that run mode. Now we set up this window called diagnostic and this is where we really have to pay attention and jump in, look at things here. Now what we're going to find in this window, if we're uh, just taking a look at what the the values and things mean in here. We're going to be finding that we have engine speed in white. We have T2 PER. Now this is going to be our cam sensor. So this is what our cam sensor input is going to look like in a roll millisecond uh, waveform coming in. And we're going to see that we have crank tooth period. This is our crank sensor. So this is going to be what correlates to engine speed. And then we're going to see cam minus crank. This is going to be a relationship between these two. Um, we can see if there's a correlation or a problem going on with something that was typically log here. Now in our second lane here, we're going to find sync errors, timing errors, and stat synced. Now what we need to know is that stat synced, this blue line here, we can see is a value of zero. When it's at a value of zero, no matter if you're getting uh, cam and crank sensors reading here, it may not go and turn to the one value here. We can see it's at a one value. It goes from zero 